Yeah, yeah. dude. We're good. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. <laughs> Hello. I am D'Angelo Starks. I'm joined by Kellen Voss, Mike Mahathy, and Noah Jensen. Uh, last week on the show, or behind the scenes, I should say, we had uh, probably the most fiery debate that we've had since after the whistle's inception. So we wanted to flesh that out on camera and let you guys see our debate about which high school musical movie is the best high school musical. Yeah, so Mike and I, I think, are on the, on, uh, on the same page here. We are in agreement that uh, High School Musical 2 is the better of, of the two movies. Um, personally, I listened to the soundtrack of both movies seven times since last week. Um, so I've done a lot of research on this. Uh, I watched Seven movies. times seems like a lot. That's a lot. That seems I like a lot. I do a lot of driving. You know, I got a big commute from Holland. Uh, I but are you, just, are you just playing oh, the soundtracks yeah, on repeat? Uh -huh, just... Yeah, I, it go, I flow through one. I get into two. It's, uh, and I think two I think two's better. Going through it seven times, I skipped a lot of songs in one. Okay. Uh, I skipped a lot of songs during that. I thought they were uh, they get boring. I think a lot of the songs in two, just me personally, I think I just like the style of songs that there are in two. Uh, one thing that I just kept thinking about uh, when you get to uh, uh, bet on it in every day, or I've uh, got to go my own way by uh, with uh, Gabrielle. Yeah, both of them are good. I think like if they would have came out with like pop stars, I think those two songs would have been like huge on the radio. I was just thinking about it, like just the way they're uh, going my own way. I think if Troy's not in it because he just sort of ruins it being a duet. I think if it was just a solo by Gabrielle, I think that'd be a perfect radio song. I don't think it's, it's not the same though. It, it's yeah, it's yeah, not no it's not it's no. not but I think bet on it's a good a strong song I I think it ends well uh, with um oh, oh gosh how am I blanking it on this it does it, oh it doesn't no. at all it's very the, the first one ends very strong with uh with their soundtrack it it starts very slow if you look at it it's a very slow moving soundtrack until you get to bop to the top and then you get breaking free what's wrong with a slow moving Here's soundtrack let me see. So it seems like you don't really enjoy the slow jams. Like you wanna, you wanna be upbeat. You wanna dance yeah, a little think, bit. And I think that two is a lot more fun. Yes, I think two soundtrack is is way more it fun. It starts okay. with what time is it? And that is a good song to kick off a movie. It's generic. It's like it's what time is it? It's summertime. Sorry, Let's throw, go have fun. Oh my goodness. Yeah. When you watched that as a kid, you hey, literally you came Mike, to Mike that. Mike needs a mic. Needs a mic. When you watched that as a kid. You came, You thought of that going like the last week of school. You thought of that song. And did you ever do it? Did you ever? Th I never did. Well, okay, now we're talking about <laughs> how many times things happen in movies where I'm like all uh, the time, Mike. I actually do. all the time. Okay, I've never us broke out dancing <laughs> in any of them. Us oneers, listen. One, you gotta. It's a better story. Absolutely. The, the meeting Absolutely. is always the meeting and like the first introduction to a love story is always going to be better than like when you get down the road and they're starting to have struggles and problems. Yeah. So in the first one, first of all, you don't get like in the second one, nothing compares to the decathlon slash the finish of the basketball game going right into breaking free. That sequence is unparalleled in the high school musical universe. Yeah. Period. Yes, that's fair. And yeah, Breaking Free is at probably the top song. Also, last time I checked, this is a debate about which movie is the best, not which soundtrack is the but best. The, does so the, does let the, me. The, does can the music I, not? The, the soundtrack has to matter. The sound. The soundtrack. Oh, yeah, the soundtrack is a side dish. As good as potatoes can be, if the steak is bad, you're gonna remember the steak being bad. Three. Okay. Three. Three iconic scenes in one that you're that you're gonna remember for sure. Number one, the ski lodge. Gabrielle and Troy meet. They do karaoke together. That's iconic. You, you're hooked right away. You're like, who are these people? They're probably going to meet again at some point. I want to see it again. Number two, the high school cafeteria. They all break out in song and dance, breaking the status quo. It's like, yeah, you got all those high school stereotypes where it's like the dumb jocks and you got the, the emo kids and everything. But like, you, you like that. We all know those stereotypes. It's a familiar role, and we're okay with that. And number three, of course, is Breaking Free. Best song in the High School Musical series, I believe. When it yes. comes to iconic moments, that's what the best movies are memorable for. It's, it's like, what do you think of when you think of, you know, Beauty and the Beast? What do you think of when you think? I love how that's the first iconic movie I think of. But yeah, um, <laughs> that we were just talking about it anyway. But yeah, High School Musical. It's the original, original lays, original ruffles. High School Musical Two is just a bunch of bunch of rich kids who are working at 
the at whatever at the at the res- at the yes, nicest country yes. club so, in so the world. I do they all really don't do any real jobs. Like they're like, oh, we're gonna clean the table yeah, for so, the so this one, empty table. That's all like I, in the, high in the school last, one. It's for sure the best in one. In the last song I, uh, of two, they talk about how like all the hard work is done, and like they've been working for like a week. So like I sort of get where you're coming from. I sort of got the same sort of feelings when Joe I was listening was really to that. Golfing. His job. Yeah, yeah, dancing around the golf course, splashing water all Look, over the that place. Song, I will give you that. That song's incredible. Yeah, that song's great. Mike and I are in in huge agreement that um, uh, I don't dance is uh, not just one of the better scenes of the movie. It's one of the better songs. I think. Yep. I think Ryan Evans sort of has his. If you guys have listened to Rewatchables, yeah. uh, they sort of have a Dion Waiters moment. I think. I think Ryan Evans, which is. Uh, how am I blanking on all these names? It's, Ryan uh, Evans is Lucas, Ryan Evans uh, is the Lucas best. Gabriel. He's yes. the most underrated character in all these. Oh my movies. gosh! And he yeah. has he yeah. has his moment in two. I feel like he sort of breaks away from Sharpay and sort of becomes his own. Predictable. Yeah, but like he needed it because in High School Musical one, you saw the, like the potential that his character had. You did. To play you abs- terrible baseball. No, I just mean like he was show, he was showing his that they performance could dance, though. his no, performing. I I just think yeah. his performance. I think it. Yeah, no, I think it was good, and we're all in this together. That Sharpay only got three lines in that song. I think, and Ryan got I think eight or nine. I think that's well, I perfect. You, you ran the numbers on this. Oh, he's, oh yeah. He's this oh, today. yeah. He oh, came yeah. to show. He's writing down notes. I, no, I honestly, like lines I, I gotta songs. take Mike's mic. I gotta do it. No, I really, I've been very adamant about this. I think Ryan Evans is one of the biggest bright spots in High School Musical too, and I think yeah. he was huge in it. See, the thing is about the Dion Waiters Award though, it's more like the overconfident guy that comes in, takes a lot of shots, doesn't always like. I would give that award to Sharpay. I think she's doing more of what like Dion Waiters would do. Yeah, but she fades at the end. Dion don't fade at the end. What? No. He's not even in at the end. Yeah, but if, Anyways, he, if he's getting hot, okay. if he's getting hot. Let's just do a quick segue really quick and talk about how trash three is. I turned it off after 10 minutes today. Okay, so it has the worst basketball scene I've literally ever seen. These movies life. aren't about basketball. I'm They're just, about the okay, high school listen, musical. No, listen, no. Special Imagine this. It. Troy Bolton coming off of a back screen, uh-huh. driving to the basket, jumps about five feet in the air. Basket where? wide open. Left Wide hand open left handed layup. Instead, he falls sideways straight to the ground and passes the ball to a guy that stands there after he catches it like this and then goes. He's a, he's a performer at heart. He's, he's known to. He, he would have he broken his that clavicle. <laughs> That's a hardwood floor. There's, it's so just not, starts. it just doesn't make sense. That's the start of the movie. I think I like three a lot because, like, it, it wraps up the story well. Hold on. You have a good ending to all the kids. Ryan ends up going to Juilliard, the the, the, the mecca mu- of, of high school performance. He goes from being, you know, Sharpay's little, like, servant boy in yes. the one to three having a role in Juilliard. Good for Ryan. Yes. He's the, no, listen, he's the listen, biggest. The best. Listen, it, it, it's not listen. the best one. It goes, in my opinion, it goes, one's up here, three's right here, and then, like, Stop. whatever's beneath Stop. the floorboards Stop. is two, I, I wouldn't say. I yeah. personally wouldn't say all that. That's not my take on the matter. Hold on. hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just say I this. I want to talk storyline on two. U, U of A, University of Albuquerque, whatever that is, by the way, um, definitely committing recruiting violations on Troy Bolton. They're just hanging out in his backyard eating his dad's steaks and talking to him about, oh, yeah, we got a locker for you next next year. They for sure paid you for can't Troy Bolton's that. car. Absolutely. That for sure, that they, for sure happened. Yeah. They cannot they probably that. They probably paid for the medical appointment that Troy went to when he realized he had five STDs because he's the leading basketball. This, this is the big conspiracy theory you want to go what? with. Leading? Just wait here. Just wait here. I know this has gone off the rails, but what? we've already crossed that point here. <laughs> leading man in all the shows, leading man on the basketball team, we don't know about his past before Gabrielle. He's literally a stud to every single mem- to every single girl in the high school. There's he's got to have some sort of STD, right? Wow. Like, like, okay. Come on I'm now. Just, come on. Move. Come on now. Go I'm gonna move past this. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Let's 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 brush past that. Yeah. Troy Bolton get tested. Other than let's let's <laughs> let's let's go back to what's more important. The movies. One is this is one incredible. Is the best one this out of all of them. That's for sure. There's no doubt about it. Let me talk about the storyline okay, too, because that's what you guys are focused on. It's you, whack. You are trying to say. Are you? We're obviously making a good point that the soundtrack in two is better. It's, it's more not. Better. It's, it's not. It's, it's, it's not. It absolutely is. The, it's not. The storyline in number two, we get the character development, as you were saying in number one, where they're starting or their romance is starting. But the fact only one two, character develops. Huh? Ryan's the only character that the develops. Whole, the whole relationship between Troy and Gabriella is up to grabs with the whole 
with uh, Troy and uh, Sharpay in number two. No, it's not you Troy know, and Sharpay. You know it's Tr- it's no. Troy and basketball. It's not Troy and Sharpay. Sharpay is take, like giving him all these opportunities, so Troy is off playing basketball. He's golfing. It's, He's meeting all these people. The but I'm though. saying that's not that's Gabriel- basic plot devices that are whack. Gabriella is mad at Troy because yes. she's not getting the attention. Yes, that's, that that's not Sharpay interesting. Likes Troy. Does Sharpay like Troy? Yeah. Of course. Then she put, then she put but, Troy in those situations but, to try to break those two of up. Of course, but that's not interesting. We know what's going to happen in the end. We know that she's, she's behind all of those people at the end of every day. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess. I'm so, if you haven't seen High School Musical yeah, at this point, then that's your fault. At this point, that's your fault. But I, I get, I get that. But I don't think that that's that interesting of a storyline. Personally, so you're telling me when got when you watched Gotta Go My Own Way for the first time, did it hit you in the feels? Did it hit you in the feels? It always hits me in the feels. Then that, that, how can you say it didn't that's matter? Because I care about them because of the first you care movie. About it because the second one. No, real, real the first quick, movie. Real quick, Gabriella of, of her two sad songs, the better ones in two. The better ones in two. Absolutely. It, okay. I go my own way. It's Is so much better so than. Do we do we want to go big picture here? High School Musical 2 is a cash grab. High School Musical 1 was so successful and did so well, they were like, you know what? We have to make a sequel. They have to. They, they, yeah. They, it's a cash grab. It's a cash grab. It's a cash grab. No. All right. No, last time I checked, Disney is making a lot of money, so I think that is a cash grab. I'm sending it to theaters. Yeah, they send it to theaters and are getting 10 bucks a ticket instead of watching it on cable. Yeah, three is the cash grab. See like high school, the first High School Musical, and think like, you know what? This really needs a sequel. They they could have left it at one. That's without a doubt, right? Not only not only the thought is this needs a sequel. It's this needs a sequel where they're in summer. There's very little sports action. There's very little relationship tension. It's just they're all just working at some country club working the whole time. In very loose. Cleaning air up quotes. tables that are already clean. And <laughs> like I I don't understand. Like it's it's a grab. It's Listen, it's just, if we're talking about movie, I only hear you guys talking about songs. The storyline in one is far better. No, it's not. How? Because it shows the relationship, tr- the troubles in the relationship. But you don't see that, number one. You see the start of the relationship. It's not all cookie. That's it's not, it, it, it's, it's, bottom, it's just the start of the First relationship. First of all, number they, two is the she real sang a sad song. There obviously is relationship troubles. She was walking around the hallways being depressed because... There was relationship troubles. It's not like it was just all... Two of the best sad songs are in two. Bet on it and Gotta Go My Own Way. Bet on it. It's not a sad song. Yes, he is. He's go- he is. It is literally... It's a definition. motivational song. But like, because he's, he's mad. He's, sad, he's not... You just said mad. He's not sad. That, 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 he's mad. Sad, oh, my. It's different. It's There's feelings. completely different hey, emotions. Jacob doesn't want to listen to us anymore. We got rap. High School yeah. Musical 1 is better. Troy Bolton, Watch get it. tested. And you're, okay. <laughs> I'm D'Angelo, sorry. I'm Noah Jensen. Mike Mahaffey. I'm Kellen Voss.